What is up, everyone? It's Ricky572 Return of Chance today, July 3rd, 2023. And we're gonna hop on and do a quick market watch. So if you guys didn't catch it over the weekend, we had Rika take the event over in the European WCQ. Uh they they beat Kestura. Kestura was still like the deck that took up the majority of the top spots. But Rika ended up winning the event. So I want to take a look at some of the Rika cards. It looks like a lot of them are still like floating around like uh, the same price point they were at. It doesn't look like it cost too many buyouts. Well, them winning cost too many buyouts. Uh, Snowdrop, the Rika Fairy, it looks like it's it's above its market price. It, it has been coming down, though. I think we took a look at this a couple weeks ago. So it does look like it's coming down a bit. But right now, we have copies of um, Snowdrop, the Rika Fairy, floating around the $14 price point, $14.24. 1485, 1494, and hitting 1495 on the first page. Uh, this one doesn't have a, a reprint, so I guess that's the that's the reason why it's so high up in price. Other than that, like everything else seems to be pretty cheap. We had uh, Riga Glamour get a reprint in Maze of Memories. We had uh, Teardrop the Rika Queen get a reprint. I think Rika Petal doesn't have a reprint, does it? Oh, it does have a reprint. Never mind. But yeah, it looks like everything's still floating around like how it was, uh, aside from like Snowdrop the Rika Fairy. So if you guys want to pick this core up or, or pick this deck up and try it out, see if you guys like it. I think it's a pretty good um, engine, uh, in my opinion. I have tested it out a bit. I was playing like a Rika, uh, Sun Avalon Therion deck for a while, and I did really like it. But I just chose to go a different direction. Uh, but I wanted to take a look at some of the Sun Avalon cards next as well because they were running Sun Avalon, um, Sun Av Rico Sun Avalon. Uh, looks like Dryas. It's still. I remember this card uh, hit a high price point of like six ish dollars, seven ish dollars, a couple of months back. But right now we have this card at that's five twenty nine with shipping, five thirty five with shipping, four ninety eight. So that's almost five dollars shipping, uh, four ninety nine. 550 550 so it's floating around like that five dollar price points for sun avalon joyas and this doesn't have a reprint i'm not really sure where it would get reprinted at so i think it's a good buy right now if you do want to test the deck out you do have to play like i think three of these in the deck because it's um it's your starter and then we have let's see everything else for like sun avalon is pretty cheap let me look at a uh, sun seeds because i think that one also doesn't have a reprint sun seed no, not Sunset, Sunseed. Looks like Sunseeds are around like 50 ish cents. Uh, only has one printing. It looks like they did go up a little bit, but then came down. Uh, right now, you get Sunseeds for like a dollar, a dollar, a dollar 16, a dollar 30 cents, a dollar 40 cents, a dollar 50 right there. So let's call it between like a dollar, a dollar 50 for Sunseeds. Uh, 70 listings on the market and like I said only has one printing I think it's a good buy if you do want to test the deck out since they're like a dollar probably like three four dollars for a play set uh, Because this is this could be a popular engine later on and might you know go up in price But let me know how you guys feel about sun seeds or Rika's Aroma Seraphy Jasmine still hasn't got a reprint. I remember talking about this card a while back I remember picking these cards up actually around like six ish dollars Then I sold them when they were around like fourteen dollars looks like right now We have them going up a little bit higher 27 listings on the market. It only has one printing like I said $17 uh, 1702 1799 $18 1805 1850 and going up to 1868 on the first page. So I definitely think this card has potential to go up even higher just because, uh, like I said, the Sun Avalon Rika engine one, I mean, Sun Avalon Rika deck one, and this only has one printing. I think you run like two of these in the deck. And until we get that other printing, which I don't know where it would be reprinted at, I'm pretty sure this card is going to stick around that high price point. But let me know what your thoughts are on Roma Seraphy Jasmine. Do you guys see this card going down? Uh, before we get a reprint or do you see this card staying up in price? So Zeus has like six printings now. We have the Core Century Rare. We have the Starlight Rare. We have this Ultimate Rare. We have this original Secret Rare. Then we have this new uh, reprint from Battles of Legends Secret Rare. Then we have the Ultra Rare. Uh, I want to take a look at this Secret Rare just because it is kind of running low on listing compared to like the other cards from Battles of Legend. Everything else was like over 100 listings in the Secret Rare department. Uh, but this one's at 34 listings and it was sitting around like that $10 price point. But right now we have Zeus going up to 1405, 1475, 
1491 1495 hitting $15 on the first page I'm hoping the ultra rare goes down in price but I mean right now if you are thinking about picking up a copy of Zeus I would just go for the secret rare which is like two dollars more and a higher rarity than the ultra rare but I'm hoping this comes down in price to like that ten dollar price point but if not I definitely would pick up my Zeus's right now it's a really good staple in like the extra decks basically any deck that runs in exceed can run a Zeus but let me know what your thoughts are on uh, Divine Arsenal double A Zeus Sometimes I forget that the Brave package uh, has other cards besides like Rider of Armis here, Wandering uh, Griffin, and Water Enchantress. So I wanted to take a look at Illegal Knight because it did miss the reprint as well. And it looks like they did go up in price a little bit. These were sitting at $1.50. And right now we have them going up to, I guess that's $3.75, uh, $3.87 with shipping, $3.99. 399 and going up to 509 on the first page with only 75 listings on the market so we still have a good amount available but yeah i did miss the reprint window but i'm pretty sure dimension force is going to be in this year's 25th century 10 this is probably going to get like a I, would, I want to say like an ultra rare printing no one really uses illegal knight though which is unfortunate because it is a really good card it uh, bounces two cards back uh Wandering Griffin Rider is the negate though, so I guess that's why people choose to run that. But Illegal Knight is not too bad either. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this one. I, I honestly think you guys should hold off on buying these because the reprint might be coming out soon. Uh, so you don't want to be paying like three to four dollars for these when you can get like the reprint for like under a dollar. So I'm a little bit late on this one, but we do have the Rarity Collection coming out later on this year in November. I'm hoping that the cards we get reprinted though are different from the OCG list. We'll take a look at that one right now. But so far we have Baron, Barlow, Savage Dragon, Ash Blossom, Effect Veiler, Nibiru, Pot of Prosperity, Triple Tactics, Talent, Forbidden Droplet, Egyptian, God Slime, and Infinite Imperm all confirmed to get like uh, reprints in this set. For the OCG, if you guys want to take a look at that one. Uh, so I've been trying to uh, study this one and take a look at it uh, see what cards I'm getting rid of from here because in case we do get the same rarity collection as the OCG right here I want to get rid of some of the cards before they go down in price even further so like Nadir Servant I have like 10 copies of this I bought them around like three dollars right now they're at six so I'm gonna try to get rid of them uh, but if they do get reprinted later on and if I hold off on getting rid of them and take the risk these might go down like in price uh striker dragons as well we have i have like i think 15 copies of these i bought like at two dollars right now they're like at three to four uh but if i wait too long they're probably gonna go down even further uh we're not really sure if this is gonna be the set but i don't want to really take too much of a risk so i'm gonna try to get rid of a couple of things but if you guys want to take a look at this list it's gonna be right here um for you guys to take a look at see if you guys want to offload some stuff but right now we're going to be taking a look at the confirmed card and see how they're doing on TCG Player. So for Baron de Floor, I think that's the first one we're starting off with. It looks like the Collector Rare did start to go down in price. This was sitting around like uh, $200, $250 at, at its highest price point. And right now we have it going down to the $165 price point. $165.99, $166.99. So yeah, it did fall in price and the ultra rares I think are still holding around like that $40 price point. It was reaching like a high price point of like $50 a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, like $50, $60. Uh, this is one's the original, but now it's going down to like the $47, under $50 price point. And for the reprint, the reprint was hitting, yeah, like $60 too. And right now we have it back down to under $45, $46, 40 well, let's call it like $46-ish right here. But yeah, Baron de Floor did start to go down in price. Droplet looks like it's kind of at the same price I saw it a couple weeks ago. It was like sitting around like $16. Looks like this Rise of the Duelist one is still sitting around like the $16, $17 price point. A couple listings under that price point, but for the most part, it's like $15, $16. Then we have the Ultra Rare from Legendary Duelist. No one's really running for Ben Droplet, so I could see why it's going down in price. But we also had that reprint later on in November, so that might uh, incentivize more people to start fire selling. We have them at $13.50, $13.80, $13.85, $13.88. So like $14 for this ultra rare copy. And then we have the 20 no oh, Brother of the Legend. The Brother of the Legend copies are sitting at $13.17, $14.09, $14.44, $14.50. So like $13 to $14 for this one. 
and the 2022 10 versions we have sitting at uh, 1129 1133 1135 uh, 1199 and yeah 1199 on the first page so my opinion on this is probably hold off on buying these i i don't think they're gonna be relevant in the meta until we have like cash Chera, uh rice heart uh going away since it it's one of the uh, cards that's preventing this card from being played because you can't really activate this if the rice heart is on the field and plus we have um the rarity collection reprint coming out so we don't know how that's gonna affect the price on this one uh, but let me know what your opinions are are you guys picking up droplets right now or are you guys staying away from it pot of prosperity started going back down in price it is one of those cards that's being uh reprinted in the rarity collection so i want to take a look at it it did have a high price point a couple months back of like 50 50 ish dollars and then we had another high price point out like 40 dollars a couple weeks ago uh, but right now we could get them under that 40 dollar price point at 36.49 36.85 36.89 36.99 on the first page uh but yeah i think people are going to start selling these we are, we're almost at the end of like the uh, wcq season and i think the only event after that is going to be like a duelist nexus regionals that's going to happen so I think more people are going to be selling off cards uh, once we get into the off season, and these might go down even further in price. But let me know what your opinions are on uh, Pot of Prosperity. I remember seeing Borlo Savage Dragon hitting a high price point a couple of months back of like 20 ish dollars for this Prismatic Secret Rare and the Secret Rare copies, but it looks like they're back down for under like $10. The one that is up though is the Ultra Rare copy. It looks like it's above its market price. And we have 77 listings on the market for this copy. This one is is the, um, I think the original printing of it. So I guess that's why it's higher than the other ones. $15, $15.50, $15.75, $15.89, and $15.90. I definitely think this might drop down in price later on though. I, I get that it's like the original copy, but still uh, the Prismatic Secret looks nicer and we are getting a reprint in the Rarity Collection. So I'm de I definitely see this card going down in price. So I would probably stay away from uh, Borlo Savage Dragon for now. I'm not really sure what rarity Infinite Imperm is going to come in in the rarity collection, but right now we do have the Ultra Rares and the Super Rare and the Gold Rare sitting around like the $10, $11 price point. Secret Rare is still high up there because I think this is like the original one. Then we have the OT sitting at like $150 ish. 176 176 176 99 178 178 dollars i think this might go down in price later on just because they might come as like a new ultimate rare in the rarity collection set so i could see this probably coming down in price but the other ones i do see coming down in price a little bit as well this is a card that's usually six around a 10 11 dollar price point i remember buying my copies of infinite from around like 10 dollars hoping they would go up to like 15 dollars but they never hit that 15 dollar price point and right Right now i'm just selling them off because the premium gold rare is probably going to be like cheaper than the super rare because no one really likes premium gold rare for some reason uh once the other reprint does come out so that's why i'm getting rid of them but yeah they are around like 10 11 dollars right now and the last card on today's market watch is going to be egyptian god slime so this is another one of those reprints that's coming out in the rarity collection uh that we have confirmed in, over here in the tcg it looks like these were sitting around like 60 ish dollars for like the first editions and then like 56 ish dollars for the unlimited version but right now we have 62 listings on a market and we have listings starting at forty dollars forty five dollars these are japanese so they don't count then we go into the second page and we have listings at too fast, too fast. 4750, 4799, 4799, 4849. So under like $50 now. So they are starting to go down in price. I'm not really sure what rarity they're gonna bring out for this one in the rarity collection, but it is getting reprinted. So if I were you guys, I'll probably get rid of these before uh, they go down even further in price. But that's gonna be it for today's market watch. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also go follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Return of Chance. This is Ricky572, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.